Okay, welcome back. I didn't exactly start here last time, but I thought I'd show that the place where I got this has a place on the map next to it. Um, and if you go in, you get this cool looking area, this nice fountain that replenishes your health. Uh, these will be thrown out a lot throughout the game. I think this area looks cool as well. So, I guess I'll see you back at the save room. Okay, so we're back here. We're gonna continue our amazing journey. Wonderful adventure, and we enter a new area with some nice curtains. Uh, and this is something we'll be seeing a lot. These three colors in this particular case. You can go ahead and kill these bugs just by rolling over them. Just like I kill bugs in real life. But anyways, yeah, green, red, yellow. We gotta remember that pattern. The directions of those crescents doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, picked up this game again. Um, first screen, as it said. We're gonna have to do a little bit of backtracking. And another thing I want to notice, mention is uh, the health like isn't usually a problem for me, but regenerating the time sand is actually a huge problem. Because I believe the only way to do it is through using items and like killing enemies. There's, it's really kind of stupid. I, I wish the uh, one complaint is that I wish like the checkpoints and the save rooms have uh, would replenish your sand, but that's not the case. So besides these pillars looking fancy, they also are slippery now. So I guess that's the cost you pay for fancy pillars. Um, although this place that I'm in, I don't know, like, I called it a temple in the last video, it could also be like a palace, but I mean, uh, there's a crack in the wall right there, it looks like it's falling apart, um, I don't exactly know where I'm at, in this corner here it reminds me of, like, I'm, I'm in some, like, Harry Potter game, so maybe I'm in the castle, who knows. Uh, I'm pretty limited to my skills right now, the, these, uh, sl like, slippery columns won't really pose a threat at all. It's actually kind of convenient because you can do cool slides like that. Um, <coughs> so, looks like that's kind of up there. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about was like uh, the time ability, the time gimmick for this game. It, I think it's actually like really cool because uh, as a kid, I'm guessing a lot of people probably imagine just how cool it would be to be able to use time powers. To be able to, hold on, we gotta show down with this guy. Get that out of here. Uh, stab him right in the ass. Yeah, using time powers I think would be totally awesome to be able to freeze time or like, you know, redo your mistakes immediately. I remember many times playing dodgeball, I was just like, oh, I wish I could just slow down time do cool stuff. I guess this is kind of stretching and we can just repair decrepit uh, pillars, I guess. I, I don't understand the functionality of this structure there, but uh, I don't think we can even do much with it right now until we get a certain power-up. Let's see. Okay, well, I guess I was wrong. Let's see what this room has to offer. Just slide right under that and stab it in the back and it's stone heart. All shall fall. To the Actually I'm not sure. I called this his skimitar, but I'm not even um sure if it's also the dagger of time. Let's not complain about the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. Uh, this is a cool enemy, I think. And uh, also, uh, another thing I wanted to talk about was the music in this game. Uh, I'm gonna try and uh, turn up the music more than usually LPers do. I don't know if that's gonna make me an unpopular LPer, but personally, I think like music is really important to games. Uh, it adds like a whole environment and atmosphere to games. It like produces emotions when emotions are needed. Not necessarily that we'll be tearing up because of this game, but um, you know, it's effective and it, it, it's part of the experience. I think uh, it's important to show it off. <clears throat> I will m maybe do some speed up like that, but actually, you know, I, I can do without ever doing that again. Let's try and keep this experience traditional. I just now decided that's how I want to do it. Okay, so all this for some sands of time, that is not a waste to me. To me, that's precious sand. 
as I said, uh, it's, hard, it's like hard to come by that stuff. That's a hot drug on the market, those magic sands. Okay, almost fell in there. I had a feeling I was going the wrong way, but I just really wanted to get a last look at that broom in the closet, or in the corner of this room. <clears throat> wow, nothing left alive in this room. I, it's really out for blood. Uh, okay, going this way. Just checking behind those curtains. Let's continue this. So, as I said, there's like a reskins of all these dungeon parts, and there'll be different aspects of this game. It's not just running around. Uh, like, we already encountered one puzzle, I believe. Yeah, that. Uh oh. Take care of Lizard Man here. He had a very sad death. But, uh, make sure his death was not in vain. It's all, uh, for the glory of God, as they say in the India. So, it looks like, yeah, this this place could be a temple. Uh, it could be a giant death trap. Uh, the story is not really clear. I was, I did read those texts, but I don't think I got much from it. Oops. Let's, let's check on our map where we are. Okay, don't need to be in here. Sorry about that. I don't need to waste my time juice either. Time juice, that's a good uh, way to call it. So let's just get on moving back to where we're supposed to go. My apologies. Let me make sure. Yeah, I gotta be going the other way. I hope I don't have to redo that like puzzle again. Okay, this room. Sorry, we gotta kill the giant. It was that Komodo dragon. No, it was not wearing a T-shirt, but the uh, maybe it was. Who knows? It looked like it was wearing a T-shirt, but it's probably just its weak point, alleged weak point. Um, in this case, we gotta keep going up. And I guess go to the. No, what the fuck is going on here? Okay, I think maybe just keep going this way. Yeah. second. Let me see if I can get this all. No, 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 this is the right way. I guess going in that optional room for the Sands of Time threw me off, but looks like we're back on track. Do a little sliding down. I can slash. Uh, fancy flamethrowers. This place is like all hooked up with gasoline wires. Pretty uh, impressive Me mechanics that go on in ancient India. So here's another enemy. Uh, I mean, he's not hard at all. You have to kind of, like, slash his sword when he when he's about to do it. We gotta go in for the kill. Yeah, we gotta slash his sword when he tries to cut us, and it kind of, like, uh, impairs him so he can't attack us. And, I mean, it's I just, obviously, as you saw, I just continually cut him, so uh, he's pretty easy to take out. But here, this thing right here, I can't show it off. <laughs> I can't show anything off, but if you if I did if I could cut it, it wouldn't be destroyed because of those bars. Up, oh, Archer. So yeah, that last guy we fought had a weapon, kind of like a you have to disarm him type deal. Um, but it wasn't a threat in that case. But a lot of enemies in the future will actually give us a pain because you have to kind of disarm them and get to them safely, or else you'll take a lot of unnecessary damage. Oh, don't know why. Look at that, I was clearly out there. Even got a replay, but whatever. I'm not complaining here. I believe there might be an item over here, but I don't think this is ours. Life potion may be useful. Oh, okay, no wasting sand, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I guess it kind of bugs me that the music restarts, but I mean... Oh, okay, we got a showdown with this guy. Get that out of here. And then we go. We should be stabbing. Where else but the back? He does a little celebration because he murdered that guy. This psychopath. Alright, let's uh, check our map real quick. Don't know exactly which way I want to go. Let's just go down here. I'll, I'll make up any lost stuff in uh, like the next video, but right now I just want to make some progress. 
So more platforming, but I, I do enjoy all of this, like pillar climbing, platforming, jumping over flames, it's all fun. Nothing but fun with this game. No, it may get a little bit less fun when like the difficulty curves back up. But for right now I'm having fun. Um and having a bit of a hiccup problem. Here we go. Let's go now. Wow, this thing is, this is a very fight and very excited like fire spouter, but took care of him. It wasn't very effective. Cut, cut up some bats for some nice time juice as I called it. Oh, okay, now this part. This looks like a giant doily hanging from the wall, but let's ignore that. Maybe this place was built by giants. Who knows the real story behind here. This is going to tell us about, you know, what I already showed off earlier. Uh, rebuilding that bit bridge. Much like I'm rebuilding the bridge of my past by playing this game. Uh, is it just me, or am I doing more damage now? I'm not sure. But uh, we'll get health back here. And we'll save our progress, more importantly. Here we go, we have our first boss. So, already, like, pretty atmospheric. Locked door, Zelda-esque locked door. Uh, and you notice I got some time by slashing him. So the key to this fight is you have to actually use your time powers in order to actually hurt him. So it doesn't, it doesn't like, you can't even use your rewind in this, on this boss battle. Oh, okay. Just try and get in some hits here. Just get some sand back there. Yeah, it, it's a pretty cool... That's a pretty cool, uh, design. Ooh, I more rocks there than I expected. He's picking on me now. And it's pretty... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Well, that was a... I just got combo. Didn't expect to take this much damage, but, like, look at... We're still doing just fine. I am, at least. Let me just get some more sand. Okay. I know I can get some solid hits off of him when he's smashing down some rocks from the ceiling, as bosses often do. Okay, let's get some more sand. Oh. I thought that I might have been able to finish him off. I guess I... Oh, I did. Okay, cool. But, uh... Yeah. As you see, uh, he didn't actually get finished off, but, um more like just got pissed off and ran away. I almost had an interruption there. Maybe that will come through the recording, maybe not. Who knows? Uh what else do we have? Okay, so my mind's all over the place, but I realize yeah, we have the double jump now. Makes a cool little sound whew, when you jump the second time. But uh in the stand in the uh way of many platforming games, this double jump will be utilized not only to help us like platform, but to open up new areas of, of this game. So the next, I guess I'll keep going for now, uh, we'll now be able to climb up this Rapunzel hair. Maybe a giant horse was, was like strangled and used, uh, fed a village and made giant braids. So. Mm, I don't know where I was going with that giant horse stuff. Just ignore that I said that. Uh, here we have Farah, or Farah. Why not Farah? Who we can switch between and control a second player. Pretty interesting, yeah? So at, at this point, I think it's the point where you know, okay, this is a, a better game than just some movie game knockoff. And I've been told in the comments of the last video that uh, the Prince of Persia games are actually pretty good, and uh, they all seemed interesting when I like saw commercials for them. Uh, I guess it's worth mentioning that I'm in like some weird laboratory or uh, some library. And we have these these panels that like pop out for a little bit. This uh, dungeon or palace, yeah, it's like some weird laboratory or observatory place that I'm in right now. Let's go again and get Pharaoh with us. 
She's got a pretty cool character design, I think. Reminds me of Zafina from Tekken 6. And her bow and arrow is pretty cool, too. Uh, we don't have to worry about, like, ammo or anything like that, so... And I don't think... I'm not sure how much of a fighting force there is, or if he, she even has to do uh, fighting for this game. But uh, she, her like abilities will help. Oh, I actually I think I need to go this way with our main character. I don't know. We'll just call him the Prince until I remember his name. I realize he has one. There we go. I forgot. I do have a second jump. It's not coming out right now. There we go. Pole swinging. He does it for fun. Vera does it for money. Let's not judge. Uh, we're gonna run out of sand soon if I keep messing up. Alright. Some nice banners. And I believe... I'm not actually certain what that does. I thought I remembered it, like, triggering music. And, like, uh, you know, the Zelda, like, da na 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 You did something right. Music. Little medley. Let's go ahead and make Farah do her job. Jump up and shoot this. And that will open up the way for the uh, next area. The combination of the switch and the bell. Um, this is, I think this is a good place to stop. I can go ahead and continue on the next episode. See you then.